So literally, what is the real tea behind Good Molecules Discoloring Serum? Well, actually, this is coffee. Let's get into this. <laughs> well, hello, hello, friends. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty. So to anyone who's new to my channel, my name is Sean. My background is molecular microbiology and biochemistry. I bring science to beauty and I also do luxury makeup tutorials. So today I want to jump right into this video because Wayne Goss totally got slaughtered when he put this product on his Instagram. I read through some of those comments and I was like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> So out the gate, I want to say a huge thank you to Beautylish and Good Molecules uh, for sending this out to me in PR. This is a collaboration video with them, so I'm just going to pretty much bring the science behind the ingredients in this product. I'm not going to go through every single ingredient, but I am going to go through the key ingredients in this product as well as some of the ingredients that I feel like you would want to know about as well. So let's get right into this. All right, so the reason why some of the comments that came at Wayne's Instagram when he posted this product were negative is because a lot of people saw it as 77% water. I'm going to walk you through why that is. Can I just say that this company did not have to be transparent about their ingredients and their products, nor did they have to be transparent about the concentrations that they use. Um, so that is a huge thank you to them for doing that because uh, the FDA does not regulate cosmetics before they go out into the marketplace. So cosmetic companies can actually do what they want. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of insight there. There's only when it comes to using color that the FDA steps in and makes sure that those color ingredients that are added to products complies with their guidelines. The first thing I want to talk about is the packaging on this product and then I'll start going into the ingredients. Packaging plays a huge role in our skincare products. What I love is this is a glass bottle. This is my hyaluronic acid that is almost done. That is from Good Molecules as well. Absolutely love this. Um, but a glass bottle helps to preserve the integrity of the ingredients in this product. And with it being in an opaque bottle means that sunlight cannot um, compromise the integrity of this product either. Now, the one thing I would say that I would love to see from skincare lines um, when they're packaging their products like this is that they have where you can press out the product where the actual product itself is less exposed to air because when you're exposing actives to air over time, they lose their efficacy as well. So, but that does not mean that this would not work, but that's what I would love to see happen. Again, I give unbiased reviews, whether I get PR or not. So I'm just giving you guys um, some insight. And I think companies actually do appreciate when we give honest feedback because it helps them to improve, to become better. All right, friends, so I came in my car because uh, it was just way too much noise where I was at. And um, this is a much better space. I got some Starbucks and now we're just gonna walk through these ingredients together. All right, so let's start with butylene glycol. So butylene glycol is one that replaced propylene glycol. And if you all remembered back in the day, that was a highly controversial ingredient. Gone are the days when we as consumers are just using products without knowing about ingredients and what it's going to do because when we talk about the skin the skin is a permeable organ right so this is a permeable gateway to our bodies to the internal organs and into our bloodstream so we really want to know what we're using so that ingredient propylene glycol got so much backlash that they literally replaced it with a bigger chemical molecule which is now butylene glycol now for those who don't know about alcohols there are good and bad alcohols right we have our denaturing alcohols like our 70 percent isopropyl alcohol methanol ethanol those guys you want to use to disinfect countertops you don't want those in your skincare because it can dry out and irritate the skin now when we're talking about a butylene glycol we're talking about a fatty alcohol that is derived from petroleum so this is actually going to be in its liquid state 
And the reason why they use this in here is because it has a lot of benefits. Butylene glycol is an emollient, so it helps to soften the skin, right? So it's a skin softener. That's what an emollient is. It's also one that will bring in water and it will actually dissolve any other ingredients that are added to this product that cannot dissolve in water. So let's talk about cedarol glycol, which is in here at 0.8%. Okay, so this is more of a waxy white texture and it's solid, so it won't dissolve in water, but it will dissolve in the presence of butylene glycol. Okay, so I'm hoping I'm making sense to you all and I'm not losing you. Okay, propanediol, so 5% of that. So propanediol is one that causes other ingredients to be absorbed into the skin. So this is acting as um, an escort, if you will, <laughs> a vehicle to bring those active ingredients into the skin. So that's why they put that in here. And there's also glycerin at 5%. So glycerin, as you all know, Neutrogena Hydro Boost is known for having glycerin in their products, right? So glycerin acts as, it's hygroscopic in nature. So it's bringing in water to the skin, which gives you that plumper, healthier look to the skin, and it makes the skin feel soft. So they have that in here. So then we're gonna go into niacinamide at 4%. So this is where we start walking into our key active ingredients that's bringing about the whitening of the hyperpigmentation. So niacinamide is great for strengthening the skin's barrier. I talk about that a lot. We want to use products that's going to strengthen the skin's barrier. And this is also one that brings a brightening to the skin and an evenness to the skin tone. Now, I mentioned before that I had to pump the brakes on using the niacinamide and brightening uh, serum from Good Molecules because I <laughs> nearly couldn't recognize myself because I, literally in two weeks, I was like almost... As white as a ghost. I was like, oh no, I don't want this. So, so yeah, that's where that comes in. Now, active ingredient, and this is a really good ingredient because, and I'm I'm gonna tell you why I say this. This is the cetal tranexamate mesylate. So this is the key ingredient of all ingredients next to that niacinamide as a whitening agent. And this is in at 2%. This is pretty much replacing hydroquinone, which we know hydroquinone can be very, very controversial um, with you know, getting rid of hyperpigmentation but causing so many other side effects uh, in its use. So this is going to give you the results of your hydroquinone, but without those crazy side effects of hydroquinone. Um, if we talk about tranexamic acid, this is one that um, is given to those that have, you know, heavy bleeding. It brings about clotting. But why are we using this in our skincare is because it also acts as a really great anti-inflammatory and it is known to inhibit tyrannase synthesis. Tyrannase is an enzyme that is found in your melanocytes that causes melanin. So if you have something that's going to inhibit that, that will prevent the darkening of your hyperpigmentation when you go out in the sun to so UV rays. And it's also going to prevent that from, you know, happening when you go out into the sun too, right? But we still want to use our our sunscreen. So make sure you're still using your sunscreen. Okay, so we're going to talk about water really fast. Water at 77%. Let me just give you some backdrop. If the skin falls to less than 10%, you are literally going to deal with the harsh reality of the aggressors in the environment taking its toll on the skin. Um, according to the ISO 3696 uh, standards, for medicinal, you know, curation of products as well as your any sort of products, hair products, skincare products, uh, you have to have water in your product. And that product can constitute up to 70% of water. 
Water actually serves a really great purpose in the integrity of your skin's barrier. It also acts as a vehicle for bringing in those water soluble actives into the skin as well as it's great for the preservatives in this product. So when you see a lot of people talking about the 77% water, it does not mean that this is a diluted down product that won't give you results. What happens is we look at water as just such a layman thing that it's just neutral, it's not gonna do anything, but it's actually serving a ton of purpose. In fact, if we lose water, we actually lose our being. So in skincare, it's the same thing. It really is necessary for a healthy skin's barrier. So I wanted to bring context to that as well about the water. In fact, when we think about bleach, and a, and a garment, you don't put bleach directly on a garment or it's going to cause the garment to wear away and it's gonna stain it yellow, right? It's too strong of an agent. So what we do is we end up putting our garment in a washer and we put in, what, um, hopefully half a cup of bleach if we're using bleach, but the concentration of water that comes in to whiten that garment is much more than the bleach that you put in, but you still get the result of a whitened product, right? The stain is gone. So it does not mean that the water is going to make that agent less effective. It means that the water necessitates getting the job done without compromising the integrity of. Does that make sense? So hopefully I provided you all with a, a lot of insight here. I know it seemed very heavily scientifically, you know, weighted, um, but I wanted to really give insight because poor Wayne, you know, if he wasn't a scientist or even had an idea as to why they did the things that they did, he probably, you know, would not know how to answer those questions. So for those who are asking the question about the tranexamate, right? Um, because it dissolves in water. The reason why they use the oil um, soluble ingredients in here is because in order for the penetration of that TXO to really get into the skin, it needs those oil soluble ingredients. So it's still active, um, in here and women are seeing the niacinamide and the TXO working together to give you that whitening of the skin. Again, I hope this wasn't too much for you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Definitely give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a hey five. Um, also click the notification bell so that you're notified every time I put up a video. I hope you all will join me on Instagram. Um, I definitely would love to have your support. Um, I'm really looking to build up my following on there as well. Anyway, I love you all so much. Definitely leave your comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.